Genesis 6 verse 1 and 2, Now it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. Raphael honey, let's go to bed now, I am already sleepy. Go ahead, Kate, I will go to bed later. Besides you need to rest early, you are pregnant with our baby. Okay, good night honey. Don't forget to pray and read your Bible. Yes honey. I am glad my wife is already sleeping now. I know I should not go to this porn site. But what can I do, I cannot stop this surge. I will just probably have a quick look. Welcome to Porn Pleasure, the number one porn site. Are you looking for pleasure and excitement? Then click enter, and I promise you will get the greatest pleasure experience you will ever have. So go ahead click enter, and I will see you there darling. Oh she is so beautiful, I am so tempted to click enter. I will click it, I cannot stop my urge. So Raphael click it and started watching pornographic videos. Meanwhile in the Marine Kingdom, Raphael has now opened the door for you my child. He started watching pornographic videos, that will provide a doorway for you to come into his life. You will be his spiritual wife, and he will now be your husband. Now it is time for you to go to your husband Raphael. Yes, Queen Mother, I will now go to my husband Raphael and I am now his wife. And I will never let him go. later after Raphael finished watching porn videos. Wow, that porn site is really great. I had the best pleasure in my life. But no one should know this. Especially my wife. Let me go to sleep now, I feel so tired after watching those porn videos. <sighs> Raphael my husband. Who are you? I am your wife. What? You are not my wife. I am your wife from the Marine Kingdom, and you are my husband. Come with me my darling. I want to make love with you. In the morning. <gasps> wow, it was just a dream. It feels so real. I was having sex with that beautiful lady in my dream. Honey, <coughs> I am glad you are awake. Are you okay? Yes honey, why do you ask? Because I heard you moaning in your sleep, it is so unusual of you. Oh, I was just having a nightmare, don't worry about that. Okay, you have to get ready now, we have a doctor's appointment, for ultrasound. I am excited to see a picture of our baby in my belly. Okay I will get ready now honey. Okay I will just take a shower. Oh. My baby mommy and daddy are so excited to see you. I cannot stop thinking of that beautiful woman that I was having sex in my dream. Kate? Kate what's wrong? Look Raphael. I am bleeding and I am having painful cramps in my belly. Oh no! That's so much blood. Our baby Raphael. We need to go to the hospital now. Okay, I will bring you to the hospital. Come let's go. At the hospital. Are you Raphael? The husband of Kate. Yes doctor, I am the husband of Kate. How's my wife doctor? Your wife is okay, but I am sorry, we lost the baby. We were not able to save the baby. Can I see my wife doctor? Yes you can, she is awake and just resting, but you can talk to her now. <laughs> Raphael, we lost our baby. Our baby is gone. Don't worry Kate we can try again. It is so painful Raphael. Why did this happen to us? Meanwhile. <laughs> your attention must only be on me Raphael. After getting rid of your baby, I will get rid of your wife. Because I should only be your wife. Your only wife. After the baby, I will get rid of that woman. You are only mine, Raphael. No one else can have you. Few months later. Honey, doctor said it's okay for us to start trying to have another baby.
Kate, please I am too tired, I just want to rest. What is wrong with you? You are always tired and if you are not tired you are in your computer always. I don't understand what's going on with you, we are married couple. We don't have any intimate moments anymore. You have no affection in me anymore, are you having an affair? Here we go again. You are always moaning in your sleep, it is like you are having sex with someone. You better stop this Kate. I am losing my patience on you. I will just sleep outside. You sleep alone in this bed. Go ahead Kate, keep crying. I will continue to destroy your marriage, until you leave my husband Raphael. <laughs> the next day at Raphael's workplace. Raphael, Mr. Hernandez would like to see you at his office. Okay Sammy I will be there. Come in. Mr. Hernandez, Sammy said you would like to see me? Yes, Raphael, have a sit. I don't understand Raphael, why you are not performing as you used to be. Your performance is very poor and you are always late for work. Sir, I promise to perform better. I am sorry Raphael, but the board made a decision to let you go. But sir please. Sorry Raphael, it's the board's decision, I won't be able to do anything. You can pack up your things and I wish you all the best Raphael. Okay sir, I will pack my things. Goodbye sir. I am so sad for you Raphael. You used to be my best employee. I would have recommend you to be the next manager. Kate? Where are you? I am home. Kate what are you doing? Why are you packing your things? I am leaving, Raphael. Kate, please let us talk about this. There is nothing to talk about, I have made up my mind. Please Kate. Don't do this to me. Goodbye Raphael. Oh why is this happening to me? After I lost my baby now I lost my job. And then my wife has left me all alone. Who could this be? It is already late in the evening. Kate. What brought you here at this time? Jessica, can I stay with you for a few days? Of course Kate. You always welcome to stay here. Come inside. Thank you, Jessica. Kate, is there anything wrong? Kate told everything to Jessica what is happening between her and her husband. So, that is what happened, Jessica. I am so confused, Jessica. Raphael used to be so sweet and romantic, but then suddenly he has no affection on me anymore. I don't know what to do anymore, Jessica. The only advice I could give you is to pray to the Lord, ask wisdom from him on what to do. He is the only one who knows what's going on with Raphael. Yes, I guess you're right. I will pray and ask God what's going on. I will pray for you too, come I will show you your bed. Go rest first Kate, you look so tired. Thank you Jessica, you really are my friend. I will always be here for you, Kate. Good night. Oh Lord God, please show me what to do, I am so confused. Please reveal to me what's going on with my husband. You have successfully destroyed the marriage of Raphael. You will be his spiritual wife for the rest of his life. Yes. My Queen Mother of the Sea, I will never let him go and he will be bound to me for the rest of his life. Raphael is mine. <gasps> what? Raphael has a marine spirit. Oh Lord, thank you for revealing this truth to me. I need to go back to the house and tell the revelation that God gave me to my husband. I have to leave now. I will just put leave this note for Jessica. Kate is leaving. I have to go back home. God has revealed to me that my husband has a marine spirit. A spiritual wife, I think that is the reason for all these troubles between us. What? That's a very jealous and a possessive spirit, your husband must be delivered by the blood of Jesus or else it will destroy him. Yes, 
Please pray for us. I will call Pastor Lewis and we will be praying for you. Meanwhile. Why do I feel someone touching me all over my body? I am alone here. My husband. What are you doing here? I want to have sex with you, my husband. No, I don't want to have sex with you anymore. Having sex with you makes me tired and it's consuming my energy. I don't accept no for an answer. I will have sex with you whether you like it or not. I am your wife. And you will do whatever I want you to do. Meanwhile. Raphael. It's me Kate. Raphael wake up. It's me Kate. Wake up Raphael. <laughs> no. Please, no. Hey. Raphael it's me Kate. Oh Kate, I thank God it's you. I was having a nightmare and it is tormenting me. God revealed to me what is going on with you. You have opened the door to a marine spirit, that is the reason for all the troubles in our lives. Oh I am sorry Kate. Come let's go to church, you need to be delivered. Pastor Lewis is praying for us. At the church of Pastor Lewis. My son, Raphael, please tell me what's going on with you. Pastor Lewis, I am so ashamed but I will be honest with you. I was having sex with a woman in my dream every night, I was having wet dreams too. And when I wake up in the morning I feel so very tired. And it's because of that I have no affection with my wife anymore. That is an indication that you have a succubus spirit or a spiritual wife. That is a demon that is having sex with you in your dream. The male counterpart of that is an incubus spirit or a spiritual husband. These spirits destroy someone's life. It destroys marriage and for those who are single, it will prevent them from marrying. It could also cause some women to be barren or have miscarriages. What? That beautiful lady in my dream is a demon? So that is the one who is behind all my troubles. Yes, it could come to you through witchcraft or generational through bloodlines. It could be through sexual perversion, fornication, adultery and watching pornographic videos. These are some ways that someone could open the door to spiritual spouses. Oh pastor, I have to admit, I have been watching pornographic videos and I kept it from my wife. You have to close all doors that you have opened to demonic spirits and break any covenant that you made with them. You must repent and ask the Lord for forgiveness. And you must devote your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Declare that your body belongs to the Holy Spirit, your body is his temple. Renounce this sex demon that you have allowed to enter. When these demons are having sex with you, they are planting seeds in your life like sexual perversion, confusion, fear and anything evil. Those must be uprooted from your life. Are you willing to pray and break this demonic covenant of spiritual spouses? Yes pastor, please let us pray. While they were praying. The covenant has been broken. I have to leave. Praise God. The blood of Jesus has set me free. Thank you Lord Jesus for setting me free. Remember Raphael, your body, soul and spirit belongs to Jesus. You are property of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you must devote your life to the Lord. And remember to be on your guard always. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 says, Be sober minded, be watchful, your adversary the devil prowls like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Thank you pastor especially for your prayers and all your advice. To God be the glory my son. Few months later. Honey, you are back. How's the interview? Well I have to start next week as the new manager. Wow. Praise God. I also have a good news. What's the good news honey? I am pregnant again. Oh. Thank you Jesus. God is good. Let's have our dinner now. After dinner we will have our devotion and give thanks to God for all his goodness. I beseech you therefore brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Romans 12 verse 1